Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We are playing the Papal State in Europe and Rosales 4. We're currently at war with this, which is extremely convenient because we need to vassalize these idiots and Venice as well, if we can. Uh, the war cost may be too high, but we're going to frickin' find out one way or another, right? We got almost everyone out of the coalition against us, which is great. Uh, I think we've maxed out relations with pretty much everyone. Yeah, well, Denmark, you could use a hug. So, hugs for Denmark. No, not dynastic. Relations. No, not warnings. Jesus. There you go. We are sieging all of Savoy, all of Alzes, all of Württemberg, and all of Venice. Go us. I wonder if Britain's going to come up here and invade Cologne for us. Did Cologne join? Yeah, Cologne joined. So hopefully Britain will go invade them for us. That'd be great. <laughs> Castile's over here kicking Savoy's army around. <laughs> that is hilarious. Poor Savoy. Nobody helps them. Who's this? Pomerania has invaded Bavaria. Cool. You don't see that every day. Istria has the walls busted. Nice. Hopefully Venice will not be too expensive to take, but I think we'll have to just settle for um, the island. We'll have to get Istria later. The cost of the provinces is too much. Let's see. Let's take some tech points. Let's poke at the peace deal. See what's available. No, he is small enough to take. <gasps> Just barely. 94%. What about Savoy? I think you're small enough as well. Yep, 88%. Perfect. Oh, man, these are great. Let me put the speed all the way up. And we'll just let things go. Go sieges. Super keen on the whole sieging right now. And Burgundy is kicking Savoy's army around. Oh, that's, that's actually Castile up in Burgundian lands. That's awesome. Damn it, Castile. Leave him alone. I saw him first... I called dibs. Go away. Oh, there's a navy over here. He's actually invading something. He's running to Corsica. Well, let's go kick his ass. There we go. What navy? <laughs> Cologne brought a navy down here with one unit to invade my islands. You gotta be kidding. What a joke. Britain renounced their claims on Armagnac. Interesting. Okay, so Castile annexed Bayern and Armagnac. And they made England get rid of their core on Armagnac. Or not England, but Britain. And Britain has now pieced out. So we now have a separate deal penalty with them? Separate peace deal? No. Really? <laughs> I thought we called them into our war. Oh, I guess we didn't. Well, whatever. Go help with uh, the capital. Someone died. Who knows? And we're gonna get you back. Cool. Cuneo fall. Good. Or fell. Whatever. Okay, a new cardinal for Trier. That's fine. We still have three guys in the running. We can probably steal that guy from uh, Bar or Riga pretty easily. Good. Istria fell. Let's go to Treviso. Cardinal loyalty, come on. Bavaria surrendered to Pomerania. That's that's fine. I really wish in peace deals you could break up personal unions. Oh, Castile just inherited Portugal in their personal union. So no more Portugal, it's now all Castile. And aren't they a scary motherfucker now? Oh man. Those PUs are crazy. Somehow they're still threatened by us. I'm not sure why, but they are. Okay, let's bump relations up here. Don't really care about Burgundy. Uh, Netherlands is going pretty good. And they would want an alliance. I would love to ally with the Netherlands and kick out this alliance with Burgundy. Because they're absolute crap. They are just crap. Uh, can we get relations up anywhere else? Who doesn't like us? Bavaria doesn't like us. Alright, let's work on you. 
Anyone else? Bohemia? Yeah, Bohemia could use a little bump. Yeah, Bohemia's got some, some anger. Man, you guys need to relax. Take a chill pill, man. Shit. Savoy wants peace. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're going to go for vassalization of your dumbass. Nothing personal. We took a loan. Oh, that's fine. We failed our mission. That's also fine. And Wallace fell. Cool. Go to Parma. Just wait on the capital. Cardinal loyalty. It's fine. We'll get him back. We're good for it, man. You know that. Okay, Venice fell. So let's go ahead and vassalize you. Oh, we need a Diplo. Right. Hey. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> New Cardinal, but uh, from the Teutons. That's fine. As long as it's spread out like that, it's all good. Ah, new mission. Renaissance Prince, enemy of enemy, or conquer Orléans. I don't really want to do any of that crap. What's the enemy of enemy for? Aragon. And that's not going to happen, dude. <laughs> Aragon hates our guts, and for good reason. Anyway, let's go ahead and vassalize Venice. Great. And uh, get rid of your cores on my shit. Oh, I can't. Fine. So having Venice as a vassal is really cool because they have lands, you know, out here that we can maybe eventually get in a peace deal. All right, new vassal. Great. And come on over here. Or just go up there. It's fine. That was very convenient, the way that war just came together. Let's take a look at what's available up here in the yellow penis. They are too big to vassalize. Ah, I can make them return cores to the Platinet or Austria or both. I don't want to return anything to Austria. The Platinet might would be fine, though. And then the next time we go to war, we could vassalize them. No, we couldn't. It would have to be more than 36%. Shoot. Could release Baden, which would be the entire nation. That would be dumb. Release Styria, which would be just one province. That might work. Why don't we release Styria, and then we can vassalize them in some war, and then we can force Austria to give, out, give land to Styria. That'll work. Who's still in that? Württemberg. Do we want to vassalize Württemberg? Uh, maybe. Do you guys have cores anywhere? You have one. Well, it's better than nothing, right? Shit. I think we will vassalize them. Why not? We haven't had vassals in a while. I, I always miss... I miss not having vassals. I mean, I miss having vassals, you know? Whenever I don't have them, I'm always, like, crying that I don't have vassals. I really love some vassals right now. Some Vaseline, that sort of stuff. Um, you want me to go to war with France? Let me see who this war is with. Hold on. France, Hungary, Liège, Brabant, and Friesland. And you're at war with just Britain. Well. France, Hungary, Liège, and Friesland. Let's wait about a, I don't know, a few weeks. Let's see who joins. Oh. Looks like everybody's already joined. And you have no allies on your side, Britain? Not really. Wow. I mean, if we join... I'm just going to tell them no. If we joined, we would have wound up being the only ones fighting anything. Because Britain would not have landed any troops. Just the same way they didn't land any troops in Brittany, they're not going to land any troops in France. So fuck off, Britain. You guys can suck my dick. My papal penis. And Castile has us as a rival for some reason. What the hell, Castile? What the freaking hell? When did you decide that we're suddenly a rival? Huh? God damn it. Stupid AI. Crazy mofos. Seriously, the AI is crazy. We lost our diplomat because we lost control of the Curia. <laughs> There's two from Trier and two from the Teutonic Order. We have three out of the four possibles, but apparently they're not getting in. <laughs> they're just not getting in. That's all good. All right, Piedmont fell. Vassalize Savoy. Very good. And I don't really 
care about you revoking any cores. I don't care about you. Do you have any money? I like money. And then get rid of your two allies. Sure, we'll get some prestige out of that. Yay, vassals. Oh, that's fantastic. Shen, you get free cores with the kingdom of God. Say that again. When you form the kingdom of God, you get free cores on all of it in Italy. Yeah, but I don't want aggressive expansion. Alright. And Castile has set us as a rival. For whatever reason, they just see us as the world's dickhole these days. And that's not cool. France might be a good ally right now. If Castile is going to be horrible against us, and they will, trust me, Castile is awful, uh, and Burgundy is useless, then we might as well have France as our ally. Bar has insulted us. Why? What the hell, Bar? Who do you think you are, Bar? Dumbass. Okay, you can get out of there. Come to Liguria. That will work. Uh, Alzus wants white piece. Are you kidding? We have 99% Alzus. And he asks us for white piece. Mm. Alright, let's go ahead and vassalize Württemberg. Oh, we can even force religion on him. Nice. And take his trade power. And his money. Man, that's just mean. Someone died. Damn it. Um, and there's no better relations over time guy. Shoot. I'll just take the cheap guy for now. And then we'll swap him out for better relations over time when one arrives. People are insulting us. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 100%. What do we want to do with you, Alzus? You're too big to do anything amazing with. But uh, we could make you... Uh, release Styria, which we will. You have no allies that we can make you get rid of. We can get your trade power and some money, and that's what we'll do. And then next time we go to war with you, we can uh, vassalize you. And that'll be great. You'll love it. Mm -hmm. Being the papal vassal is amazing. Or so people tell me. So we took 45 aggressive expansion. We vassalized Venice, we vassalized Savoy, and we vassalized Württemberg. Yay, vassals. I love having vassals. Now at 8 out of 6. Who can we kick out? Uh, access in Austria. We don't need that. We'll kick that out. And then we'll have to start getting relations up. Castile broke their alliance with us. That was expected. Because they set us as a rival, and they are becoming... Once they inherited Portugal, they just had no reason to have any allies, really, do they? So we'll see if we can't get France as an ally and um, use them instead of Castile. Mm-hmm. Six out of six. Why does it say we have too many? We have six out of six game. I don't know. It still says we have too many for some reason. Venice left the coalition against us. Smart move, Venice. Smart move. Oh, we hate France. Hmm. Really? 52 border friction? I guess. Oh, whatever. So who do we need to kiss right now? We have some ass to kiss. Uh, Alzus? Might as well. They're going to be sore for a while, but we might as well start kissing ass now. France. Uh, Aragon might be good. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, hmm. Let's align our stuff with France. So we'll put uh, Austria. I don't really want to put Austria in Bavaria, but I think I will. If Castile's going to put us as a rival, then we'll put them as a rival. So take that, Castile. Yeah, dumbass. You little dickhole. Cologne is insulting us. Well, we were just at war. So I don't really care if you insult us. So these guys, if we go to war with them and vassalize them, 
They have cores. Oh, really? I thought they had cores over here. God damn it. I thought they had cores over here in Lienz and Carnton and shit. I don't know. They're supposed to. New Pope. Fine by me. Disloyal Cardinal. You know what we do to disloyal Cardinals, right? Chop off their hands. That's right. So how long until our next tech? Uh, we're actually not that far off. We're three years ahead of time. So as soon as the new year rolls around, we should be able to tech it. And then we can start going for a military idea. So did you guys decide on what was what was going to be more important for us? Did you guys um, think we want to go with defensive, where we get the 25% boost to morale and uh, armies take more attrition in our land? Or did you want the quality, where we get bonus to... Uh, our soldiers, our cav, our cannons, and 15% more discipline. Yeah, defensive one. Defensive? Okie dokie. Cool. And we can save quality for last. Because I do eventually want quality. The bonus, the 15% extra discipline is just amazing. Okay, new idea group. Defensive it is. Defensive we go. And we can start wasting our military points on that shit. Hooray! Oh, we can stop funding the military, by the way. Derp. <laughs> Let's make monies. Okie dokie, because we're so far ahead on military tech, we just had to take a military idea. We were we're 15 years ahead on military tech, so we have to do military... And, oh my god, we are... We're also 15 years ahead on admin tech. Oh my god. Well, it's a good thing we have an admin idea group that we can waste some points on then. Uh, okay, we have extra relation. Uh, Bohemia, they're never really gonna work, are they? Crap. Oh, I like how the scent gift... The scent gift bonus still helps with Savoy, even though we just declared war on them. They don't, they don't mind the war. They're about scent gift. That's cool. <laughs> Keep Croatia happy. missions are out there. Improved defenses in Kaffa. Crush France. We have a mission to crush France. Really? I mean, I'm not against crushing France. I just think that they would be useful in wars against Castile. I, I see France as a future ally right now. <laughs> so I don't really feel like crushing France, if you don't mind, game. If you don't freaking mind, game. Ah, a march. And an embassy. I think I do want the embassy. The embassy of... I don't know. The embassy of Naples. Why not? Go nuts. And we could spend some money on buildings. More temples are always good. In fact, I don't know why we don't have maximum temples already. We should totally be doing that. The embassy is just amazing, because it gives you an extra diplomat. Trier has insulted us. Nobody cares about Trier insulting you. Everyone's voting for Bohemia. And the Teutons surrendered. Really? Wow. You guys are not as strong as I think you are. You are still eyed with Russia, though. Is Oh, Russia put us as a rival. God damn it, Russia. Why are we a rival? Explain to me, how is the Pope a rival of Russia? These are the countries between us and Russia. Austria, Bohemia, Hungary, the Teutonic Order, Ukraine, Riga, and the Livonian Order. Those are the countries between the Pope and Russia, but Russia has seen fit to set us as a rival. I mean, I can sort of understand Castile, not really, but I can sort of understand Castile. But Russia? Come on, you're, you're so freaking far away. How is that going to make any difference in the world? Who knows? The Ottomans, I get the Ottomans, because we have this sea border right here. And Cas uh, Castile, I guess I can sort of understand that a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. 
and Russia, you make no sense. You crazy. You crazy, I say. Go home, Russia, you're drunk. Alright, we got a free Diplo, though. So let's Diplo... Let's Diplo Bavaria? No, we can't. Huh. There's not much we can do in Castile if they're going to be dicks like that. Let's work on Aragon. Improve relations with Savoy. Oh, we can definitely do that. Shit. Uh, improve defenses in Kaffa. That we can do. Build a fort. Okay. Building a fort. Done. <laughs> Those are the best missions ever. Okay, we max out relations with Croatia. Uh, Brittany, let's work on you. Brittany, I choose you. Okay, we're back from the Hansa or somewhere. Netherlands, you guys want an alliance? Do we have room for an alliance? No, we don't. Hmm. I'm tempted to get that alliance, though. They are possibly going to be awesome. It's hard to tell whether the Netherlands will flounder or flourish. Especially since Brabant is bigger than them right now, but eh. If I were a betting man, I'd say Netherlands would do just fine. We need to improve relations with Hungary. Yes, we do. And we can tech up our Diplotech. Good. We're finally catching up. We're at 14. Are we green yet? Let me see the map. We're 15 years ahead on two of the techs, and we're like 10 years behind on the third tech. Are we green? We are indeed... Oh, we're bright green. Wow. We've caught up on tech nicely. And now we're going to waste all of our points on ideas. Yay! And we did finish our embassy. The embassy of... Where was it built? That was the Fine Arts of Tuscany. Where do we put the embassy? Naples? Yeah. Embassy of Naples is done. Uh, that means we have more relationships to pass around. Let's go for Serbia. Just make everyone happy with us. Wow, everyone's got two except us. We're the lonely we're the lonely cardinal. Alright, can we improve with Austria? Yeah, a little bit. Might as well. Alright, we got some army tradition for that mission. Spread our culture to burn. Improve relations with Savoy. I think we should do that. Because that's pretty easy. Just hit a button. And then you wait. Croatia, I saw that. What's up, Croatia? At war with Serbia, Byzantium, Bohemia, Aragon, and Ukraine. You're going to get rocked. You're attacking Serbia. Are you kidding me? You're freaking attacking. And you have no ally. Am I your only ally? No. Let's see if Austria joins. If Austria joins, I'll think about it. Otherwise, get, get the hell out of here. Why are you attacking someone like 5 billion times your size with better allies than you? So dumb. Yeah, Austria declined your call to war, didn't they? No, you never even called them to war? Really? Are you not calling Austria? That's weird. It's like he didn't even bother to call Austria. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at your war. That is not the biggest war ever, but it is a big war, and you have no chance of winning it, and I don't really want to fight your war. Nope. Get hell out of here. Dumbass. <laughs> here come all the alliance, alliance offers. Uh, Lorraine. Uh, you might be useful, actually. You're small. Not small. Sorry. Petite. Uh, no, I think we're going to go for the Netherlands. Need a diplomat, though.
Great. Netherlands. Cool. Because they'll build a nice navy, too. And Denmark took Donshig from... Uh, I mean, uh, Pomerania took Donshig from Denmark. Good for you. Yeah, Austria didn't join your war. He kept his alliance, though. I guess he just didn't call Austria? Maybe maybe Austria had a truce and they couldn't join. That's probably what happened. Um, okay, max relations with Savoy. Make it so. Make it so. But we're out of time for this episode, so I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time where... I don't know what we're going to do. Who knows? Shit. <laughs> See you then. Have a good day.